bless you. Amen, amen, amen. What a blessing, what a privilege, what an honor it is to be here in the house of the Lord on this morning. We welcome you, we welcome you to the Victorious Faith Ministries morning worship virtually. We are praising and magnifying the Lord and we give God the glory for the great and wonderful things that he has done. We want you to call somebody, tag somebody, share this Facebook page. Praise God. Amen. That others may join in and be blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah. We worship and praise and magnify his name. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord hath made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise his name. Praise his name. Let us go. Praise God. And uh, as we entreat the Lord in prayer on this morning. Our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. Dear God, we lift up, exalt, magnify, and glorify your holy name. God, you're holy. God, you're righteous. Lord, you're just. And we worship you this morning. Come, Lord Jesus, manifest your presence here with us. And get glory, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Father, we stand in the gap, Lord, for those who are hurting, for those who are sick, oh God, for those who are infirmed, oh Lord, and turned away in the name of Jesus. God, we bless your name. We call on the name of Jesus now. God, for in the name of Jesus, there's deliverance. There is hope, there is peace, and there is joy. Oh, God, in the name, Lord, the righteous run in and are safe, and we bless you, God. Come in the place this morning, dear Lord. Have your way, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless us here. Bless us here, God. Show your glory here. Manifest your presence here, oh God. Cast out everything that's not like you. Every hindering spirit, oh Lord. We take authority over it this morning and cast it out in the name of Jesus so that Jesus may be glorified. In this place we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. In the word of the Lord, praise God. Matthew chapter 26, praise God. In verse 29 it says, But I say unto you, I will not drink his forth of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Bless the Lord. Bless God. Bless God. We want to welcome you, amen, to this glorious celebration of praise as we magnify, glorify, and exalt the Lord. Praise God. Amen. They share with somebody and have them to join in. Even now, praise God. Let us receive our praise team as they come forth and uh, usher us into the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Well, it's time to give the Lord some praise on this morning. It's time to bless his name. It's time to exalt him. Come on, clap your hands with us as we celebrate Jesus on today. Hallelujah. We give him glory and we give him honor. You know the song. Come on and join in with us. Oh, into his gates. Hallelujah.
his name.
just clap your hands and magnify the Lord uh, in the house on today. Hallelujah. I hope God has showed up in your bedroom, in your living room, at your dining room table like he is here. Praise God. Uh, we magnify and glorify the Lord uh, for his goodness and for his mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I come to praise him. I come to give him glory. I come to give him honor. I come to exhort him and lift up and magnify the name of the Lord. Amen. For God has highly exalted him and given him a name above every name. Whether that's the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. And we give him glory on this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Don't you feel the glory? Can't you sense the glory? Don't you sense the glory, hallelujah, of the Lord in this place? Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. We're so excited, praise God, about what the Lord is doing and how he is blessing. We're just, amen, uh, 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 we're just excited, praise God, uh, about what God is going to do. And we're looking for him to do great things. Thank you, Jesus. And we bless his name on today. We praise him and magnify him. Thank you, Jesus. God, we give you glory. God, we give you honor. And we give you praise on today. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just worship him for a little bit. Just worship him for a little bit. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, bless his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't get in such a big hurry. Come on, just linger in his presence just a little bit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just linger there just a little bit. Just linger there just a little bit Hallelujah. and give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. 
Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Our praise team for that wonderful selection. Praise God. Amen. How God is blessing, how he's moving, and how, amen, his glory is in the house on today. And we are excited, praise God, about what the Lord is going to do. Praise God. Amen. We're not going to belabor the time. We're not going to belabor the time. Praise God. But we're moving now. Moving now. Praise God. Amen. And giving God the glory. Hallelujah. I want you, praise God, amen, to elevate your expectation on this morning. I want you, praise God, amen, to look unto the Lord, lift your eyes unto the hills from whence cometh your help, amen. For I believe, amen, that there's help is on the way, whatever your situation is, whatever the circumstances are on today, I believe, amen, that God has help on the way for you. Praise God. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with right now. I'm sensing in the spirit, praise God, that God, amen, is in tune to exactly what's going on in your life, praise God. And I'm believing and trusting God that help is on the way, praise God, amen. Come on, put in the chat box there. Help is on the way, amen. Type it in the chat box. Help is on the way, hallelujah. And we bless God on this morning. Thank God for his goodness and for his mercy, for his grace and his wonderful kindness. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Uh, I want to share with you, amen, from the word of the Lord on this morning, praise God, as we glorify, as we magnify, as we lift up, praise God, and uh, give him, amen, the glory that is due unto his name, praise God, amen. From the book of Genesis chapter 1, amen, verses 26 and 27, says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth up on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Praise God. Amen. And then, amen, a companion scripture from the book of Revelation, chapter 4 and verse 11, it says, Thou art worthy, O God. So, uh, or rather, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. I want to talk with you, amen, for the next few minutes, amen, from uh, this thought, praise God. Uh, achieving divine purpose by overcoming obstacles. Praise God. Amen. I want to share with you, amen, from this subject and from this text on this morning, achieving divine purpose by overcoming obstacles. Praise God. We're living in a time, in a season now, praise God, where that there are many things that have come before us. Amen. And these things, amen, have manifested themselves uh, in many cases as hindrance and certainly nonetheless as obstacles. Praise God. I know that sometime it might seem applicable to think, praise God, that as big and as diverse as our world and the universe is, how is it even possible that I can have any significance in the midst of all of it? Praise God. Amen. How is it even likely, praise God, that I, amen, could make any difference? But the fact remains, amen, that when God created you, man, glory to God, woman, boy, or girl, amen, it was not by some accident, amen, not by some accidental chance, but by the intentional will of God and on purpose. Praise God. And believe it or not, amen, God has a specific purpose uh, that he intends for you to accomplish while you are here in this world on the planted earth. Glory to God. Amen. There are some things that God uh, has assigned to your hands uh, to do, amen, that has uh, uh, connected you. 
Amen. To purpose. And believe it or not, praise God, no one else can do it except you. Hallelujah. There are some things, amen, that just might not even happen except you engage in the process. Amen. And partner with the Lord, praise God, to cause his word to manifest in your life. I want to talk to you, praise God, amen, a little bit on this morning because, amen, as I look throughout the world, amen, I see that many of our men are struggling. Many of our boys, praise God, don't have examples, don't have role models, don't have anyone to follow, no one to look to, praise God, amen. And it's time that that changes, praise God, amen. Our men seemingly, praise God, in general are getting a bad rap out there right now. Hallelujah, praise God, amen. They're being denigrated, praise God. They're being hated and even, in many cases, being eliminated. Glory to God, amen. But I'm here to tell you, amen, and in some instances just to remind you that God has purpose for you being here and that don't you forget it. Hallelujah. Too many times, praise God, amen, the enemy has impressed upon our minds, amen, that we don't matter. Praise God, that we cannot accomplish things, that we cannot do, amen, any good or make any difference. But I come to tell you, praise God, amen, I'm here, amen, to tell you uh, 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 that, that, that that's not the truth. Now, I started this discourse, praise God, in the book of Genesis. Because I wanted to establish the fact, amen, that it was God that created us. God created us. Amen. The almighty mind of God created us. You are not here, amen, because of some big bang theory. Praise God. No, are you here because, amen, of, uh, of someone's idiot theory, praise God, amen, that you evolved from some ape of some sort. Glory to God. God created you, man, and he created you in his own image and in his likeness. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. You need to understand the Bible says there, amen, Genesis 1, but God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them, praise God. Therefore, I need you to understand this morning that you are not a mistake, amen, as some may try to make you think. Man, praise God, you ought to be, amen, there ought to be, amen, a sense of godly pride rising up in you. Why? Because within you, praise God, who you are and who you are to become, amen. You have been made in the very image of God, of God the creator, praise God. Not only that, amen, but you have got some innate traces of the creator's ability flowing through your vein in order to help you to accomplish what God means for you to accomplish while you are here, praise God. There is some God, there is God, amen, that's working and living and moving through you for his glory and that ought to make you glad that ought to cause you to lift up your head it ought to cause you amen to stick out your chest a little bit praise God rather than bending your back and holding down your head straighten up hallelujah because you're somebody special how do I know amen because God didn't make no junk Everything he made, praise God, was good. Amen. And even to the point that it was very good. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so, amen, uh, uh, there is greatness down on the inside of you. I know, amen, that you've been told uh, that you ain't nothing, that you'll never be nothing. Oh, my God. But I come to tell you, amen, that's the voice of the devil. And the Bible says there in John 8 and 44, the Bible says, amen, that he is a liar. He's a liar, praise God, amen. As you embrace the fact, amen, that uh, it is God who created you, then I want you, I want to submit to you, praise God, that it is only creator, the creator of a thing that can actually determine and declare the intended purpose of the thing. Whatever I make, whatever I create, praise God, I can use it for whatever I want to, praise God. God created you and therefore, amen, he created you with purpose. Amen, praise God. People might look at you and then might try to downgrade you, but I come to tell you, amen, that God created you with great purpose in mind for you. 
Amen. Praise God. The companion scripture there in the book of Revelation is added in order to give you some insight or some glimpse. Hmm. To give you a glimpse as to what your divinely intended purpose for being placed here in the grand scheme of life. God purpose, amen, for your life to bring him pleasure. To bring him pleasure. Praise God, amen. So what are you doing? Wasting time, amen. Uh, attending to stuff and aligning yourself with people that do not pour into your God-given purpose, amen. Well, praise God, we'll come back to that a little bit later or at another time, praise God, amen. But ever since the fall of the first man, Adam, praise God, amen, uh, that was caused by disobedience, there has been a challenge, or an obstacle place in the path of man. Praise God. There has been a hindrance that has been there. Praise God. Amen. In the face of man. Uh, uh, what it, when it comes to working out God, uh, 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 his God given purpose in life. And guess what? Praise God. Amen. That obstacle will be there. Amen. That challenge will be there. Praise God. Uh, as long as we have, as Paul said, these vessels, amen, uh, uh, the, the, that we have the, this treasure in these earthen vessels. And that's until Jesus return to rule and to reign, subduing all things and putting all things under his feet. Praise God. But I come to tell you, amen, that when you receive them in your life, when you give up unto him, praise God. When you honor him, praise God. He'll set you on a path, amen, that will be a path of victory and not of defeat, praise God. It, amen. I want you to know, praise God, that the Bible tells us there in 1 Peter 5 and 8, mm, praise God, that we have an adversary and his intent is to derail you, amen, is to cause you, amen, to veer off, amen, from what God's purpose is for your life. But you've got to have your mind set. You've got to have your heart fixed. You've got to be in a place, praise God, whether you can let, let the devil know, I'm going with Jesus all the way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Yes, we have an adversary, but you don't have to worry, praise God, or be distracted by that because God has design you to be an overcomer through Jesus Christ. I need you to understand that, praise God. There is destiny, there is design in you, praise God. There's purpose in you for you to rise up and to be all that God has called you to be. He knows, amen, the devil knows, praise God, that you are weak and incapable without the Lord Jesus Christ. But with him and through him, praise God, you become, amen, you become complete and totally able. Hallelujah, praise God. I need you to put that in the chat bar, amen. Come on, chat, complete and totally able through Christ. Hallelujah. In fact, the Bible tells us there in 1 John 4, Four and four, it tells us, praise God, that ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So, according to this, praise God, the reality of your overcoming is already done. It's a done deal because you have overcome, praise God. I need you to understand that in the mind of God, it's a past tense thing, it's already happened, praise God in the mind of the spirit in the mind of God hallelujah you're already walking above and not beneath you already praise God amen the head and not the tail God has already declared it it's already been said amen so what's our challenge we need to get it in our mind we need to get it locked into our spirit praise God it has it, look it's already done I'm already an overcomer I'm already walking in victory I'm already, praise God, jumping the hurdles, amen, and getting the victory through Jesus Christ. It's already done. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. You've already become the greater one uh, that resides, praise God, uh, amen, on the inside of you. Praise God. Amen. The one that walks alongside you in the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. He's already there making you, helping you, praise God. He's there as your paraclete. He's there to uphold you and to uplift you. It does not matter what people say. 
Hallelujah. You've got to get tuned in to the voice of God. Tune your mind into the voice of God. Tune your mind into the will of God. Hallelujah. And shut out all of the things, amen, that the devil will try to say. Praise God. I don't know about you, amen, but to me, amen, it appears to me, praise God, amen, as I alluded to earlier, praise God, that there is an attack. Mm. Yes, they're an attack, praise God, that has been launched against our men in general, praise God. Can I just talk to all my brothers for a a little bit? Can I just talk to you for a little bit? Hallelujah. Praise God. There is a literal attack. There is a spiritual attack, praise God, that has been launched against men, praise God. I know that in many cases, it's just us. And sometimes, amen, it's just us and in our flesh, praise God, whether we've made some stupid choices, go glory to God. Amen. We can't get a, get beside that. Sometimes, amen, we have to admit it. We have to confess it in order to get past it. Hallelujah. And so we admit, praise God, sometimes, amen, we've made some bad choices. We've done some stupid things. And it seems as if, praise God, but amen, that, that there's some sinister force that has uh, uh, conspired and laid out a plan to eliminate the presence of the male image from our culture. Glory to God. Mm. When you look in the word of God, we find, amen, that Pharaoh, as well as Herod, praise God, both attempted it, amen, thousands of years ago, and the devil is still using the same old trick, praise God, whether he's trying to eliminate, praise God, our men, amen, today's culture, amen, in today's culture, the attempt seem to be aimed specifically at the, uh, at, at the image of strong, independent, and godly men. Men, praise God, who will stand for their families. Men, praise God, who will stand on the word of the Lord. Men, praise God, who will hold up their uh, up their heads, praise God, to declare that Jesus is Lord. Amen. The image of the kind of man that our, semi, uh, our society seems to want to keep before us is the, is the image of a weak and emaciated man in the bondages of the devil's devices. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Praise God that have stripped him of his manhood. Hallelujah. But that's not the will of God for you. I come to tell you, praise God, that the vices of illegal drugs and alcohol, pornography, and all of that other kind of pervasive stuff, praise God, amen, uh, uh, the, the effeminate spirit of homosexuality, praise God, that is robbing our children of solid role models and for our women, and of our women, praise God, for suitable companions in marriage, hallelujah. I come to tell you, praise God, that God has designed you men to stand, praise God, and be a protector. He has design you praise God to carry heavy loads praise God he has designed you amen to conquer and to overcome you've got to understand hallelujah amen that God has preordained for you to be somebody that's vigilant somebody that's able somebody that is fit for the journey somebody praise God that can handle the task no matter what it is there is a task that has been set praise God but I come to tell you that you are well able to handle it yes you can brother you are able to overcome the obstacle there's some power down on the inside of you that God is looking to rise up thank you Jesus those things mm -mm that have been obstacles uh, and yes praise God those are obstacles huh? when we look at the drugs the alcohol praise God and all other kind of vices that the devil has set up uh, there are obstacles yes they are but I'm here amen to encourage you uh, because the Bible says uh, in James 5 and 16 uh, the effectual fervent prayer uh, of a righteous man availeth much uh, hallelujah uh, I 
God just come to let you know. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, men, 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 men. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, the devil might be out to get you. But I come to tell you uh, that there's some prayer uh, that's covering you. Uh, there's some prayer of old grandmothers. Uh, there's some prayer of mothers. Uh, there's wailing and whoa. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and crying out to God on your behalf. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, prayer can overcome uh, and even eliminate uh, obstacles that have been placed uh, in our way. Uh, an obstacle uh, is an obstruction uh, or a hindrance uh, to a given task uh, or goal intended uh, to impede or to stop the process of moving forward. Uh, but I made up in my mind uh, I'm going all the way. Uh, it does not matter uh, what the obstacle may be uh, but once you know it uh, and you figured it out uh, you got to understand uh, uh, that there's always uh, a way to get through it uh, or around it uh, God has purpose uh, in your life uh, and he's never intended for the devil uh, to hinder your purpose uh, or to stop it uh, it might be an obstacle uh, but that's all right and Hallelujah. I know uh, that there are others out there who think differently, but in the grand theme of things, uh, in the grand scheme of things, uh, God did place the man. Yes, he did. He placed the man, praise God, uh, as the head uh, that inspired man, uh, that God inspired man. Uh, I'm, I'm not talking about the weak and emaciated man, uh, but I'm talking about that man uh, who will stand and take care of his family that man who will stick by that wife no matter the trouble that man ooh lord who's the time on I'm going with Jesus all the way that God inspired man God put him at the head the Bible says in Ephesians 5 and 23 he said for the husband is the head of the wife even as Christ is the head of the church understand your position man look and see what God has has, has likened you into he's likened you unto you as the, 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 the son of God Jesus the Christ I know that there there are many women uh, out there uh, that are heads of households, uh, but I've just come to tell you uh, that's neither God's plan uh, nor his design for you. Uh, that's not God's intent. Uh, in, most case, in most cases, it's the place uh, in these cases uh, where women have had to lead ha ha households. Uh, it's a situation um, where that the enemy has intervened uh, and has taken the man out. Uh, but I've come to tell you man mm. you need to hold on uh, you need to realize uh, your place uh, stand uh, stand still uh, and see the salvation of the Lord uh, hallelujah uh, but just in support uh, of our women uh, sometimes I know uh, you have to do uh, whatever you have to do uh, in the absence uh, of that God inspired man uh, hallelujah that's in the house hallelujah but I come to tell you uh, men uh, I just want to remind you that God designed you with purpose in your life you're not just here to throw down forests you're not just here to smoke on weeds you're not just here to shoot up in your arm but there's a purpose and part of your purpose is to support and to provide for your family the Bible says in 1 Timothy 5 and 8 but of any provide not for his own um, and especially those of his own house uh, he has denied the faith um, and is worth an infidel uh, hallelujah uh, but thank God uh, that he's able uh, to turn uh, that thing around uh, I know that the pandemic uh, has wreaked havoc uh, and the economy uh, is
is turned topsy-turvy. Uh, many times is bottom side up uh, and upside down. Um, but that's just a challenge. Uh, yes, um, that's a challenge. Uh, that's just an obstacle. Uh, it's an obstruction or a hindrance uh, unto our purpose. Uh, but what do you do? Hallelujah. In the face of a challenge, in the face of an obstacle, what do you do? You overcome it by the power of God. Yes, you do. That's what you do. You look, you go around it. And through the power of the Lord, I heard David say, he said, thou hast enabled me to run through troops and to leap over walls. That's the attitude, men, that you got to have huh? I'm running through it yes I am you are a protector of your house you are the strong man and no home can be destroyed except they first bind the strong man of the house hallelujah me I just want to tell you you have been instructed you've been laden with purpose to love your wives even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it whatever may be the obstacle in accomplishing your purpose you overcome the obstacle by the power of him that has called you he that has called you from darkness into light Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Your Bible says, uh, Revelation 4 and 11, uh, for his pleasure, uh, you are and were created. Uh, all of those other things uh, that I've mentioned uh, are things that give uh, God pleasure. Mm. Hallelujah. Because he is being worked. Uh, Praise God. He's working in you and he's working through you. For the Bible says, for it is God with working in you to both to will and to do of his good pleasure. I need you to understand that what God is doing, what you are accomplishing, how you're overcoming, it gives God glory and it gives God pleasure to see you standing, to see you holding your head up high. It good gives God pleasure. Look at this. I found out that there's a little twist on being created for God's pleasure. There's a little twist here. So many times we focus on what we can do and to give others for pleasure. But with God is just a little, look, it's in the reverse. Thank you, Jesus. What give God pleasure is what he can do for you. Thank you, Jesus. What you will believe him for, what you will trust him for. Thank you, Jesus. The things that he's put within your spirit, down within in your mind uh, hallelujah uh, thank you Jesus God is able uh, he's able thank you Jesus uh, to cause those things to come to pass uh, and what give God pleasure is when you have enough faith uh, to believe him uh, to orchestrate it in your life uh, you step out on faith uh, looking for God uh, to be under your feet uh, thank you Jesus uh, when God see you uh, walking in faith uh, that's glory unto him uh, that's pleasure unto him uh, when God uh, see you with your back uh, against the wall uh, but you still won't bend uh, and you refuse to bow uh, that's the type of thing uh, that gives God pleasure come on and shout glory Yes, Lord. Uh, the Bible says uh, in Psalm 35 and 27, uh, let them shout for joy and be glad. Thy favor, uh, my righteous cause. Uh, yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. Uh, listen to this. Uh, with have pleasure. Mm in the prosperity of his servant. Thank you, Jesus, when you're rising up out of his obscurity, that gives God's pleasure. When you've been kicked down to the ground and talked about, 
but yet you get up with your head up. That's what give God pleasure. When the enemy has tried to defeat you, but yet and still you got your heart fixed and your mind made up. That gives God's pleasure. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, when you're able to walk in prosperity and not let it mess with your head. When you're able to drive nice cars and yet pick up the stranger. When you're able to live in nice homes and yet don't let it get beside you. Thank you, Jesus. It gives God pleasure. Thank you, Jesus. God has a plan to prosper you and to bring you to an expected end that gives him pleasure. Change your mentality. I know that God wants to bless you. Yes, he does. He wants to bless you. He wants to elevate you. He wants to cause you to rise up. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Luke 12 and 32, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's God's good pleasure. Hallelujah. Not just pleasure, but good pleasure to bring you into places, hallelujah, of elevation and to give you the kingdom, whatever the kingdom has. Hear me today, whatever the kingdom has, God said it's his good pleasure to give you what the kingdom has, whether it's wealth, whether it's health, whether it's peace of mind, whether it's your divine, it's your God. It's the Father's good pleasure to give it to his children. Psalm 1 at 47 and 11 says, The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him and to those that hurt hope in his mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God's pleasure is to release and that pleasure is released upon them that call upon his name. Those that are his own people. Men out there today that don't know which way to turn because you've been beat down you've been discouraged you've been talked about you've been kicked to the curbs in many cases I want you to know the Bible tells us that God doesn't change his mind about the intent and the intended things that he has for us hallelujah you may have made some bad turns, but I come to tell you that you can achieve, yes, you can achieve that divine purpose by overcoming the obstacles. And you overcome the obstacles in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. God is able to do great things in your life. And to cause you to rise up above every obstacle. And cause you to be able to excel in the things of God. Thank you, Jesus. to tell you, praise God, that you can achieve. God's purpose can be achieved in you, but you've got to trust him. You've got to step out on faith.
you are an overcomer. And there's purpose in you. And I want to pray for you right now. Right now, right where you are. What have you gone through? What have you dealing with? I want you to know that God is able to cause you to meet purpose and to achieve it. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, you can. Ah, yes, Lord, I can. of Jesus, that man, oh God, that boy, perhaps even, oh Lord, that family, that woman, oh God, who feels like their backs are against the wall, oh Lord, and purpose seemingly, oh God, has eluded them. All that they can see, Lord, is just a waste of time, God. But I pray in the name of Jesus right now, Lord, that you would reverse that thing and turn it around. Reverse it, O oh God, and turn it around, Lord, because your word declares that all things work together for the good of them that love God, those who are called according to your purpose. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now, Lord, that you would give understanding, give wisdom, give insight, Father. Lord, reveal the plan that you have for their life. Turn that thing around, oh God. Let them see it working. Let them get the glimpse, oh God, of it working out. Let them, oh Lord, have a glimpse, oh God, of that thing coming to pass. Hallelujah. Lift the burden. Lift the weight, Lord. Lift the guilt. Lift the shame. Lift, oh God, the heaviness off of them, oh God. You said, Lord, that your burden was light. And we trust you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, to do it today for those who will lift holy hands, for those who will confess, for those who will own up to it, dear God. I pray in Jesus' name right now that you would do something special in their lives. God, I know you hear my prayer, God. Lord, I'm confident that you hear my prayer, Father. And I pray right now that you would just lay your nail-scarred hand on that man, that woman, that boy, that girl right now, oh God, that's in the midst, oh God, of making that decision for you. Do it, God. In Jesus' holy name. In Jesus' holy name. In Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That something miraculous has happened in your life. 
You believe, praise God, amen, that by the power of God, some specific things have taken place and you can feel even now, hallelujah, praise God, I'm sensing in the spirit, praise God, that somebody, amen, is, that, 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 that there's a lifting, praise God, amen, you can feel the lightness, praise God, that have been, uh, or rather the heaviness that has been removed from your shoulders, the tension, the stress, and the strain, you're sensing that something now is different. Hallelujah. Reach out to us. Give us a text. Shoot us a text, praise God, and just declare, it's me. I feel it. And give God glory. Praise God. Text us at 901-450-9739. Let us know what God has done for you. If you need further information, if you need further instructions or understanding, we'll be glad to do it for you. I mean, reach out to us. Once again, 901-450-9739. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is the first Sunday of the month. Y'all, look at what God has done. Through this year of 2020, that has been quite tumultuous. It has been many struggles and strains for many since, praise God, the beginning of the year. But look at what God has done, has sustained us through this year. And here we are now at the first Sunday of the last month of 2020. Hallelujah. God has been so good. And we bless his name today. The first Sunday has usually been set aside, amen, for time of communion in the Lord. And that's what we want to do this morning, praise God, amen. Those of you who are prepared to share, praise God, amen. Get your elements, get your hosts, praise God. Get your crackers and get your juice, praise the Lord. And as we enter into our time of holy communion, praise God, because of the uh, extent and the expanses, praise God, of this year in the present set of circumstances that we're under, Amen. You know that we're not able to do it in person. But nevertheless, praise God, the Lord admonished us to remember his death until he come. Praise God. Amen. And we're doing that. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians, rather, praise God, chapter 11, verse 23, Paul said that, For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament of my body. This do ye in this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as oft as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Jesus took the bread and he break it Blessed Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift now this broken bread unto thee, O God, as it symbolizes your body, O Lord, we receive it in Jesus' holy name. The blood that gives me strength. 
he also took the cup. And in like manner, he blessed it, Father, even now, Lord, the fruit of this vine, and we sanctify it as symbolic of the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for our sin. And he said, drink ye. father's kingdom. Verse 30 says, as when they had sung a song and hymn, when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Islands. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the blood. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you and God strengthen you. Hallelujah is our prayer on today. I hope and trust, amen, that something has been said that has blessed you, that has lifted, that has strengthened you from and through the word of God by his spirit. That is certainly our prayer on today. Our endeavor is to cause you, praise God, to be strengthened through the power of the word of the Lord. Amen, praise God, and by his spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give you an opportunity, praise God, amen, to sow and to share on today, amen, amen, in the ministry, in this particular ministry. Yes, I want to ask of you, amen, if you, God, will lay it on your heart, praise God, to share a seed, share a seed, praise God, and sow it into this ministry. Very simple to do, amen. You can do it, amen, from your homes right where you are, digitally through GiveTheFi. Amen. You can do it. Praise God. Amen. Just look for Victorious Faith Ministries. You see a wonderful picture of my wife and I there. Amen. And you can give safely there. Also, praise God. Amen. If you prefer, you can do it through Cash App. Amen. Many of you, amen, are transferring funds through Cash App. You can safely and securely do it through Cash App. Praise God. You can do it. Amen. Our handle is dollar sign VFM. C O G I C. That's dollar sign V F M Kojic. Praise God. Safely and securely, it goes right into, amen, our uh, bank account. And certainly, amen, we will get notice and will give you the credit for what God will bless you to do. God bless you and God strengthen you on today is our prayer. Praise God. Well, amen. And those of you who are not able, praise God, to sow and to share digitally, uh, but uh, the mail still works, all right? The mail still works, and you can just write a check and drop it in the mail. Address it to P.O. Box 313. P.O. Box 313. 313, Itabina, Mississippi, 38941. You can do it there. And to our members, praise God. Those of you who are within driving distance, amen. We are here on the grounds right now, praise God, to receive your gift. We'll be here until 12 noon. Praise God. Amen. You have time if you're in driving distance to come. 
Amen. The security team is here. The finance team is here. You can safely and securely drop off, amen, your gift using uh, social distancing, wearing your mask. Praise God. Your gloves if necessary. Amen. Someone will meet you at your vehicle and receive it. Praise God. There, if you are not able to do it digitally, certainly, amen, we know that God is faithful and will truly bless you for your gift on today. We'll be here, amen, until 12 noon receiving your gifts. Amen. So come on by and let us, praise God, see your face in the place. God bless you and God strengthen you on today is our prayer. Well, you know, December, praise God, is just kind of a busy month, amen, for the sake goes. Amen. It's kind of, praise God, amen. It's a wonderfully exciting time for us, praise God, and uh, for the Victorious Faith family, amen. I want you to know, amen, that earlier this week, praise God, the Lord blessed me to have another birthday, y'all. And I want to, praise God, appreciate every one of you, amen, who reached out in whatever way you did, praise God, through Facebook or through a text, praise God, or whatever you did, amen. Some of you even reached out through Cap Cash App, and I thank you. Praise God. Amen. I appreciate you so much. Praise God. Amen. But God has blessed us, amen, to uh, achieve, praise God, uh, let me say Medicare age. <laughs> amen. Thank God for 65, and we are grateful to the Lord that he has blessed us. Amen. But not only that, praise God. Amen. I want you to know that today, today is December the 6th. Praise God. Amen. Amen. About this time, amen, 12 years ago, hallelujah, praise God, amen. I was kind of feeling a little bit antsy in my stomach, praise God, amen, because something wonderful was about to happen, praise God. 12 years ago, amen, I said, I do, praise God, amen, to the wonderful and incomparable evangelist Barbara Jackson at that time. But she told me it was all right if I changed the name, praise God. So now we call her Barbara Jackson Sago. Praise God. 12 years ago, amen, the Lord blessed us, amen, and we're celebrating 12 years on today. I appreciate her. She is such a fabulous woman of God, amen, and look, not just a woman of God, amen, but look, she knows how to take good care of her husband too, amen, and I celebrate God, amen, for her and for uh, the life that God has blessed us, praise God, amen. 12 years, 12 years, hallelujah. And we're thanking God for that. Praise God. Amen. I love you, baby. And we look forward, amen, to many more years of favor, amen, that the Lord is going to heap upon our lives. Praise God. Amen. Normally, normally on this day, the first, uh, first Sunday in December, normally we'd be celebrating uh, the victorious faith family. It would normally be celebrating our uh, pastoral appreciation. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But I want you to know that we are delayed it by one week this time. Praise God. Amen. On next Sunday, on next Sunday, praise God, at about 6 p.m., amen, we will be premiering the 18th appreciation service, amen, of the pastor and wife of the Victorious Faith uh, Ministries, praise God, and it will be virtual. It will be a virtual celebration, amen. You can just tune in to the uh, Facebook page, praise God, amen, of the Victorious Faith Ministries, and you, wherever you are, you'll be able to celebrate right with us. It's going to be a wonderful time, wonderful celebration, praise God, I mean, we're going to have wonderful music, praise God, amen, the elder uh, Darren McAllister from Los Angeles, California, he is uh, uh, the executive, amen, one of the executive uh, people, praise God, that is in Bishop Blake's cabinet, and uh, takes care, amen, of him as far as his security and everything, and he's going to be our speaker on next Sunday, praise God, it's going to be a wonderful time, amen, he's going to be sharing with us wonderful music, praise God. My own uh, a sister, praise God, in law, Simon Sharon Jackson, she's going to be celebrating with us. Praise God. Uh, Pastor Josh Bracey, amen. Bracey, that's going to, be, going to be with us. And look, it's going to be just a magnificent time, and you really don't want to miss it, all right? Praise God, amen. So tune into our Facebook page. The notice will be there, praise God, amen. Many of you will be receiving uh, tags, praise God, uh, and it's going to be just a wonderful wonderful, wonderful time, all right? And that's on next Sunday, December the 13th at 6 o'clock 
p.m. Central Standard Time, all right? Be with us, share with us, amen, and uh, we know that it's going to be a wonderful time of glorifying and magnifying the Lord. Lastly, praise God, amen, I want to share with you that our presiding bishop, Bishop Charles E. Blake, praise God, has set aside a time, praise God, of, of a solemn assembly, amen, for prayer, fasting, and consecration. That's going to be this Tuesday, December the 8th, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hallelujah. We are living in such tumultuous time. Time of trouble, time of stress, time, praise God, of uncertainty. And our leader is calling together every member, every church, every pastor, every superintendent, every jurisdiction. He's calling for all the constituency of the Church of God and Christ Incorporated to come together in a time of prayer, consecration, and seeking the face of God. A solemn assembly, he's calling. That's going to be this Tuesday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We trust, praise God, that you will engage. If you need further information on that, praise God, you can go to the uh, website, praise God, and find that. Amen. You can go to uh, kojic.org. Amen. You'll find, amen, the information there where that our leader is calling us to come together in prayer. Let's do it. Let's join him as we seek the face of God. As we are finishing up this year, and I trust, praise God, amen, that God is going to give us the strength and the ability to finish strong. Hallelujah. Let's seek his face, amen, for what his will is for the rest of this year and coming into the new year. Let's seek the face of God and see what God will have us do, all right? God bless you, God strengthen you, and the Lord keep you is our prayer on today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. I hope and trust, praise God, that you've received something from the Lord in a tangible way. Would that you would pray for us, strengthen us, that the Lord will strengthen us and be with us until the next time. May the great grace of God the strength and the power of the Holy Ghost be with you is our prayer in Jesus' holy name. God bless you and God keep you.